Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. This is my second episode of being back. And uh, first of all, I just want to say thank you guys for the support on the first video. I've gotten a lot of positive feedback on um, y'all being, you know, happy that I'm back and I'm super happy that I'm back. And I'm just looking forward to make more videos, you know. Last night or I so I filmed the video last night, uploaded it today in the middle of the day and it was just an all-around enjoyable experience. I loved editing. I kind of missed it. Part of me likes editing. Part of me doesn't like editing. But I did miss it and was excited that I could, you know, go through the editing process. It wasn't too complicated of a video. But regardless to say, I'm really excited for the future of this channel and this video um, in particular, which I know a lot of you guys want to see. So basically what I'm going to do today is go through, you know, what the equipment was that I wore last year during my junior season and why it worked for me and if I would recommend it for other people. So just a little bit of background. I'm six foot three, 190 pounds for size, and um, I'm a quarterback and I'm more of a pocket passer, uh, not really much of a dual threat. So the equipment that I wore was more pertained to the style of offense of passing and not so much of read options, RPOs, QB runs. It was more of a sit back throw it in my receivers, throw somebody open, and uh, quick game. So that little backstory for the uh, football junkies out there. So we're going to hop into it. So the first thing that I'm going to talk about is my helmet. Vices Zero One, of course, you guys have seen the helmet. Um, and I just really can't say enough great things about Vices as a whole. And the helmet itself is something like no else. I've had Zeniths. I've had Riddells. I've had Shuts. I've had all the helmets that basically are sold. And I really have not come across a helmet that I love more than the Vices Zero One. It just checks all the boxes for me. The visibility is unparalleled to anything else. If you don't notice that your vision is impaired un until you put on a Vices Zero One and you see the difference and you see how much the peripheral vision is better in the helmet so i rocked the two bar standard face mask with that as well love the face mask style love the helmet the way it feels it's soft but you you feel protected it's it's not heavy but it's not light you know you feel it on your head i will say it's a little bit big but just i feel secure in it confident that the zero one would protect me and i wouldn't have to worry about you know concussions those type of things you know i felt safe as a football player especially with the helmet moving downward on my body in my uh, for my mouth guard i had a shock doctor max airflow now a lot of quarterbacks don't like the lip guard aspect and for me uh, especially in our offense we didn't run a lot of at the line audibles and having to talk with my mouth guard in didn't really have a problem with the cadence at all we had a simple cadence but still i did not feel you know uh the mouth guard interfered with that the max airflow has a large uh, hole of course max airflow i didn't have any problems with breathing so for my shoulder pads i had the riddell varsity power spx linebacker and fullback style loved these i think they were a uh, medium they were a little bit small they would rub on my neck and i would get a little bit of a rash in early part of the season but as the season progressed that kind of um went away good movement uh free range of motion was big for me and when i put these shoulder pads on i felt that it wasn't restricting at all now the main difference between the quarterback wide receiver and the linebacker and fullback pair is that there's clavicle pads and i didn't wear the clavicle pads my sophomore year or i don't know if that's a clavicle if that would be considered it's kind of you know where the clavicle meets the shoulder you know playing quarterback this year i don't want to be sitting there and get a helmet to right there and that would mess up my shoulder for the game definitely recommend if you're a quarterback or wide receiver going ahead and getting the linebacker and fullback pair just because the added protection will not hurt it's not restricting at all and it really helps with uh you know hits moving on my arm sleeve if you're a player in a throwing sport like baseball football if you get a stinger or a helmet or contact to that elbow it can really throw you off when you're throwing with your motion and just pain in general so i wanted something to where I could have the protection for my elbow so I wouldn't have to worry about when I'm following through. To cut short, I could really follow through and not worry about my helmet hitting my elbow, my my elbow hitting another helmet. It's an 80% nylon and 20% spandex. And when you get the product, you will understand what I'm talking about. It is a soft fabric. It's not the constricting kind of thick material that comes with a lot of uh, lower end sleeves. I love the material. It washes well. It's stretchy. It is the most stretchy thing I have. It stretches probably this much. Lower on my body, I had the Nike wristband. Just kind of had that for, you know, looking cool. Uh, moving on, I had the Nike Hyper Strong Girdle. I've had the same girdle for about three seasons now. No complaints. Got the hard um, 
plastic for the thigh pads. Love that feature. Of course, rock the knee pads. I uh, tried to get field position, so I didn't want those giant knee pads that you see linemen and uh, linebackers wearing. I want to get the thinnest ones as possible. Probably the most important part of what I wore last year were my cleats. I wore the Under Armour Spotlight suede cleats in gray. I absolutely, absolutely love these cleats so much that I wore them in practice and in games. I didn't even get a game cleat because I was like, these are so good. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. So I love those. The suede cleats, they do get a little bit wet with uh, you know minimal. If you're in a dewy area, they will get wet and a little bit soggy. But also, they don't have a ton of protection. So if you get stepped on, if you're an interior lineman or someone getting in the trenches, it might not be the cleat for you. You, you might want to get the regular Under Armour Spotlight. But if you're a quarterback or a skill position player, I would actually really recommend this because they're low profile, they're breathable, and um, that's about it. Uh, I loved what I wore last year. It was a great system for me. If you have any questions about any of the products and other things, just let me know down below. And um, I really appreciate you guys for watching this video. I'm glad to be back, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed you know, hearing about what I wear um, for football. And let me know down below what your what your favorite football product is and uh, if, I should, if I should look into it and uh, wear it next year. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. Very exciting to be back. And uh, Quarterback HD, signing off. Peace.